Class Module Update Get the Associate Control Label I saw some interesting code that could get the text out of a label for a text box. So I've added it to the Class Module. I'll just demonstrate. There's the label of this text box. And if you see, the calendar form now takes that label as its title. And this one doesn't have a label. I deleted that label deliberately and it defaults to select date. I'll show you how that works. And that's part of the calendar form. Notice I can't open the calendar form from the navigation pane. And I'll demonstrate how that's done. When the form opens, it runs this code here. It's on AWF website there and there's a bit more about it on Microsoft there. In the class module we now have a new property it's the principal control caption. So all you do call it up if there's something in it then set me caption to whatever's in that custom property. If there's nothing in the caption then change it to select date. This is the form calendar the code is in the call called class module which is here. There's two new functions, get label and has label. Has label just returns true if the control has a label. So you're going to look through that form for that named control and see if it's got a label. So basically, for each control in the form, is it a label? Yes, it's a label. Now, you're not looking at that control, you're looking at all the labels. So it's, it's a bit of an odd way of doing it. You, it. You'd think, I'll look at the control and see if it's got a label. But you have to sort of reverse your thinking. What you have to say is, I found this label, and which control is it attached to? The control a label is attached to is called its parent. So you say, right, I found the control, which is the label. I'm looking at its parent, and I want its parent name. Is the parent name, in other words, is the control the label's attached to, does it match the name of the control I've passed in? If it is, then make this function true. Now we got uh, the get label. So we feed in the control as a control this time. Up here, it was the name of the control. Then we take that control we fed in and we extract its name and then pass it into the has label function, which is up here, remember? Now that finds a matching control and label and it says yes, there is a label for this control. If it says no, it does this bit. In other words, it returns nothing. Otherwise, it returns, so it's looking at the control. Now that's another way of looking at the control's caption. What we're saying is, here's the control. It has a collection of controls. Give me the first control and the caption from the first control. Now if you're still not clear on that, I suggest you put this code in a form and test it yourself. You'll get a better feel for it. If I've got a minute, I might do a separate little video just on that.